The prosecution called its first witnesses today in the trial of Nina Momeni, the uh, man accused of killing Cash App co-founder Bob Lee. Crown Force Leslie Gooden brings us the latest from the courthouse. The prosecution rested its case on Wednesday, and today the defense put up its first two witnesses, a DNA expert and also a friend of Kazar Momeni, who was with her doing drugs hours before Bob Lee's murder. The defense began with DNA expert Greg Hampkin, focusing on why Lee's DNA, specifically his blood, was found only on the knife's blade and not the handle. They argue that the state's DNA collection methods may have been flawed. The prosecution asked the expert if he took any issue with SFPD's DNA's findings. He replied that while he agreed with the report, he disagreed with parts of their testimony, noting that the jury did not see the full analysis. Now, jurors had numerous questions for the expert, particularly about DNA collection methods and whether he has ever personally examined the knife in this case, which he had not. The second witness, Aranza Viegas, a friend of Kazar Momeni, described the events leading up to Lee's death. Viegas said she and Kazar took three shots of GHB, but she refused other drugs offered by Jeremy Boyvin. When they felt sick from GHB, Kazar called her brother Nima and her husband. Aranza stated that Nima was calm during their conversation and that Lee was never mentioned when they talked. She also noted that she and Kazar were not close, emphasizing that they had differences, saying Kazar is all about money and partying. Viega's testimony completely contradicts other testimony that we have heard about Nima's state of mind during that time. We've heard that he was aggressive. Now, she says that he was acting very normal, and we are expected to resume session on Tuesday. Leslie Gooden, Crom for News.